Hi everyone, welcome back to Hi Mama's online content activity hub. My name is Kaya and I'm an early childhood educator here at Hi Mama headquarters. For today's activity, we are going to be doing some space art, which involves a little bit of science as well. So I've gone ahead and created this space art earlier and it is of planets and using baking soda and vinegar, there was a really cool like science fizzing experiment happening on our paper here that turned out to be like pretty neat and actually added some texture to the planets that I've drawn. So for this activity, you are going to need some vinegar, some baking soda, um, a squirt bottle or a spray bottle. You'll need some paint to paint the planets, a couple cups to mix the paint and baking soda together, some paint brushes, and a black piece of construction paper. The thicker the construction paper, the better. So if you can get like a really thick cardstock, that's gonna be great because we will be spraying it with some vinegar. It'll make it a little bit wet and we don't want any holes in it. So for this activity, the very first thing we're going to do is make our baking soda paint. So we're gonna do that by mixing paint and baking soda together in a cup. You can experiment with the ratios with this. So generally I add about like a couple tablespoons of paint and then we're gonna dump in some baking soda and mix it around. You can get your child to help with this too. You don't want it to be like thick and clumpy. Um, you still want it to be like a little bit smooth but you do want there to be a reaction. So adding a lot of baking soda and mixing it around is key because if you don't have that much baking soda, not much will happen with, uh, with the paint and the planets once you spray it with vinegar. So this is looking like a good texture for me. It's kind of like a brownie batter texture. I'm gonna make my red paint as well. So same thing, pour in some paint and pour in the baking soda. You can even make this part like a little bit of like math by measuring out in spoonfuls, like how many spoonfuls of paint do we need? How many spoonfuls of baking soda do we need? And have your child practice counting as you do it. So that's an idea there. This is looking like a really good texture right off the bat for me. Perfect. So once that's all mixed up and all the baking soda clumps are gone, you're gonna get your child to paint some planets. So giant circles, you can add rings to them as well. And it's really cool painting with different textures. I love having children explore these, these different textures. So I've got my one planet here. This might be Mars, the red planet. There we go. And I will do my other planet with the blue. And you can make tons of like tiny little planets, different colors. You can do one large planet on the whole entire piece of paper. Just let your child really get creative with this part. Cool. So I'm happy with that. I've got my two planets here, just like that. The next thing we're gonna do is take our piece of chalk. So you can use white chalk, um, white pencil crayons or white pastels also work really well too. And we're gonna draw some stars so that it'll kind of look like our universe. You can draw constellations, have your child do this part as well to practice their fine motor skills. And one more, I think I'm happy with that. Cool, so here is our galaxy. So the next thing that we're gonna do is take some vinegar, white vinegar works best, and we're gonna take our spray bottle here and we're gonna pour it in very carefully. Perfect. And you can have your child do this part as well to get a little bit messy. Um, once the lid is on your spray bottle, you can have your child spray their artwork and listen for the fizz as you spray it on. Cool, so you kind of see like a, a reaction happening. Oh, that one was really good. And it like creates these like white milky dots on the planet. So that blue one turned out really, really cool. So experiment with the ratios on the paint and see how much baking soda you really need for reaction to happen. There we go, I got the red one going now. Cool. I can assure you your children will absolutely love this activity. It's so much fun to create. 
let them get out their creative juices and also do a little bit of science at the same time. Thank you everyone so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed that activity and we'll see you very soon. Bye.